Alrighty then, here we go. Successful Indie Author 5-Minute Focus, Episode 505, Shoot for the Stars. Yeah, Stanley's not in here now that Mom's home. He splits his time. That means he spends all of his time out there and none of it in here with me. All right. <clears throat> Having a lofty goal is good. There was a consultant who used the term BHAG, a big, hairy, audacious goal, something that is so out there that you think it's not achievable, but as you work towards it, you find maybe it is. Maybe it is. I never expected to be a millionaire as an author, yet here I am. Uh, seven years later, I... All right, we're back. All right, so... Uh, Seven years later, pulled in uh, a little over one and a half million dollars in revenue from my author business. So, uh, no, not not a bad goal, not a bad effort, and uh, it wasn't one that I actually had. It just happened to just happen that way. However, had I, maybe I would have worked towards it a little more quickly. Interim goals, like steps on a ladder as you're climbing up to get to a, a roof. Always make sure your ladder extends three feet beyond where you're stepping off. That's a safety rule. All right. To get where you want to go, you have to climb those steps. You can't just automatically hop up on the roof. It doesn't work that way. You've got to climb up the steps. So that's why you have inch stones. You have milestones. Uh, if you're driving down the highway at, uh, at 60 miles an hour, milestones. Every minute you should be passing one of those things saying, hey, you're, you've driven a mile. But if you're walking, you don't like that mile. It takes a long time to get there, like 20, 25 minutes walking to get to that next mile. So how about every 100 yards? Okay, hey, there you go. You're past them. You're making progress. Big thing with making progress. You live for today, but you plan for tomorrow because you're hoping that tomorrow will come, but hope is a lousy plan. But you, still have to, you still have to work toward it. So live for today, doing stuff that will help you for tomorrow, will also fulfill you for today. It's not like, hey, you can throw everything out the window and do nothing today. Uh, and then keep doing that because then you're not climbing any steps. Uh, you're not getting anywhere, uh, let alone the stars. If you shoot for the stars, you'll still be in the sky. You'll still be on the moon. I can tell you what, uh, if you shoot for the stars and miss, you're in space. There is no air in there. That's going to be bad. So let's, let's not fall short of that and end up where we can't breathe. It's most important to see how far you've come. It's not just looking towards something, it's that you're actually progressing. And I talk about this a lot because uh, there's too many people say, I'm not getting anywhere. Uh, I, I, I haven't published my first book yet, but you've written 60, 80, 100,000 words, and you've written them uh, fairly well. You've done NaNoWriMo, and you've gotten your 50,000 words. Maybe they weren't publishable, but you've gotten those words, and you've told a story. That's a lot farther than those people you talk to say, oh, yeah, I've always thought about writing a book. And never get a word, never get a page, a paragraph, or even a single sentence down. You are well ahead. And that's understand. That's where, that's how far you've come. Even if you haven't published yet, if you've written, if you've written words, if you've written any words, then that's a, that's a pretty long way. And it's way ahead of a lot of people. Not that we're comparing ourselves to other people. We can only compare ourselves against, uh, against us. That's a healthy way to do it. But if you've gotten the words, then what's the next step? What's it take to publish them? Let's clean up those words. Let's make that story profound. Let's get it out there, and let's do another one even better. Keep looking at the world as you pass through it. Some people say it's all about the journey, and I'm one of those people. It is all about the journey because the destination, if you get to, if you get your lofty goal, uh, I want to make a million dollars in this business. When you get to a million dollars, what do you do? You stop? No, you set a new goal. You keep going, so but you've got to enjoy that that journey. You've got to take a look as you climb the ladder each step. See where you are, see how far you have to go, but see where you are and appreciate where you are. Appreciate everything you've done, and that you keep moving forward. That you keep moving forward, not that oh hey look at the competition. It's not you're not running a race. You're not running a race against other people where only one person can win. And somebody's going to get that Red Lantern Award that they they finish last. No, as long as you keep running, you're going to finish, and it's going to be a good place. All right, but have that have that uh, big, hairy, audacious goal, that lofty goal, shoot for the stars, because it also keeps your eye on something that's even bigger than yourself. 
and makes you appreciate how far you've come toward that goal. Peace, fellow humans.